The diplomatic and commercial relationship between the United Kingdom and Poland goes back several centuries. And I believe that this evening has demonstrated that the Polish community continues to make a very valid and vital and positive contribution in the United Kingdom. And long may it do so. To Poland and to Britain and to our friendship even after Brexit. <laughs> Many people, when they first came here, uh, engaged in entry-level jobs. But now we see more people from the Polish community creating their own businesses, managing businesses, and really making a very large contribution by employing other people as well. This is quite amazing. This has happened in a very short space of time. Some over 30,000 limited companies owned, set up by Poles in Britain. I work as a foresight researcher for Nesta, uh, in particular for the Challenge Prize Center at Nesta. Uh, we are a global innovation foundation and we try to tackle the biggest challenges of our time. I work in the Citigroup. Uh, I remember five years ago when I moved from New York to London, um, I was probably the only Polish person on my floor. Right now, uh, there's probably 10 of us. I'm running one of the biggest accounting office which is based mainly of the Polish clients. And I have to say, still I've got new clients. They're opening the business, set up new limited companies. I think it's important to recognize that Polish people have successes in different areas, and it's very important to promote them so that the image of Polish immigration is the right one. We have so much to offer, so much skill and talent, our ambition, drive, work ethic. It's things that I constantly hear from British people, um, actually admiring how much um, ambition and drive we do have. So um, we need to tap into that and be confident. Probably the most important thing was that somebody noticed that Poles are very shy. So it's high time to be more self-confident. It's high time to be more present in British minds, uh, also on the British market.